the university builds a new building or renovates an old one, uh, it stays funds and half percent of those funds goes towards purchasing new work. If, if you're interested in art in the United States since the 1960s, you have the main players, many of the main players here on campus. You know, and it is a terrific collection. It really is one of the very best collections in the United States. And it's a big complicated process of selecting an artist for that, those kind of projects. And Claude Service was selected and came to campus, looked at different locations. Everybody agreed that uh, the front lobby of the Performing Arts Center needed something. It so happened that when Claude uh, installed his work, we had a kind of an empty period in the gallery. I just spoke to Claude and asked him, you know, can we do a simple exhibition, a few works of, of your art? that uh, gives people background for your new work in, in uh, the Performing Arts Centre. So when we had uh, the dedication of the new work, uh, we invited everybody to come over to the exhibition and had a little party here and he told everyone about his work and about his art. I, mean, I grew up east of Bellingham, close to Deming, and so I uh, spent a lot of time as a kid by the Nooksack. We used to go swimming in the South Fork all the time. And so I've made several pieces over the years that reference that river. And this one was about the middle fork, which is kind of the, the more mysterious fork of the three forks of the Nooksack. It's not very well visited or traveled, and it's a little more wild. The video is taken from an aerial platform. It took a fair amount of, of work to get the video. I, I had to go up there, I think it was about eight or nine times to, to get usable footage. So I had to like hike from one river bend to the next and get all four in the same one hour period. So, and I'm not like in the best of shape. So it was just like this big backpack with this drone and all this other crap and then running from one to the other. And then, you know, flying, and I, I had never flown a drone before. So that took a little while too. And then it stitched together, uh, not digitally, but using just the positions of the monitors. He. Uh took the films and, and added them together to create a circle so that it looks like the river is flowing in a circle. He can work with, with uh, complex equipment and make that do things that most artists are not capable of. You know, he could have painted a painting on canvas of exactly the same scene, but that would not do what he is after, you know, to bring it to, to live and get the subtle effect of, of the water moving. When you look at it from distance, it just looks like a back, backlit photograph. It looks still, but when you uh, walk closer to it, it starts to move. You start to become aware of subtle movement. You know, you see, see the water move, and it's, it's a great moment when you discover that. 